All right, people, I am out in the coastal plain doing some road cruising tonight, hoping to see some snakes cross the road. It was a really hot day. It's just starting to cool off a little bit now and the sun is going down, which is usually prime time for seeing stuff. Uh, I'm hoping for rattlesnakes, king snakes, um, milk snakes, anything like that. Um, but I'm happy to see whatever I'm able to find. So we're gonna get after it and let you know how we do. Snake of the night is a phenomenal one. It's a freaking pine snake. My first of the year and a young one. Oh my God, this is awesome. I haven't found a pine in a long time. I don't want him to get off the road, but you can see it's just a little one. Oh my gosh, there it is. That is gorgeous. So freaking cool. Can't believe it. Last snake I expected to cruise at this time. I'm shaking. This is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. I'm astounded. This is awesome. I'm gonna get some pictures of this guy before he gets off the road. And look at that tail, that's awesome. It's probably gonna grow up to be a nice one. Steer him away from the car. <laughs> this way, buddy. He's going. All right, so we're letting this guy off the road. Goodbye, buddy. Look at that tail though, that is just beautiful. Night cruising a pine snake, definitely a unique experience. That's gorgeous. Woo! Sweet. That was freaking awesome. I mean, night is made, it is hot as anything out here. I mean, it is like, I'm sweaty, super excited over finding that thing. Um, it was a nightmare of a short encounter because it would not stay on the road, unfortunately. But, um, you know, made the most of that, super excited. It's my first pine snake of the year. I don't know why I've been having such bad luck with them uh, this year, despite targeting them um, more than once. And uh, to get a pine snake in August crossing the road at night not unheard of, but uh, certainly very unlikely and probably one of the least common ways to encounter one. So any other snake we find today is just a bonus, but I'm, I'm happy with that and uh, we'll see uh, how it goes from here. All right, got another snake, just a garter snake out meandering. I'm going to move him off the road quickly because we're on a busy road and I uh, wasn't expecting something, but there you have it. Next snake of the night, it's been a little bit. Here's a little bit of a better look at this garter. He's chomping on me. As they sometimes do. I'm going to uh, help him off the road. If he ever lets go of me. And uh, there you go, buddy. I'm gonna keep cruising. Right, next snake of the night here is this little black rat snake that was crossing. I actually straddled him. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't think any more snakes were crossing. But pretty little black rat. Really, really dark for its size. I mean, this is a pretty small one, but you can see barely any pattern to it. I mean, well, there's pattern, I guess. It's just really, really coming in quite dark. Oh, and he's chomping on me. Buddy, come on. Rat snakes have shut. Ow! 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 <laughs> they have such sharp little teeth. Look, he just keeps seizing. He's really trying to get me. Oh! Oh, come on. Stop chewing on me, buddy. Come on. Let go. Let go. Oh! Ouch. Snake bites typically don't hurt too bad, but, uh,. I mean, when they chew on you like that, definitely doesn't feel great. I'm just kind of racking up the snake bites tonight. But check that out. Super nice little black rat. Definitely happy about that. 
like I said, after that pine snake, anything else we find tonight is a bonus. So I'm just gonna take an in-hand picture of this guy and uh, help him off the road. This guy's gotten real cranky. He's getting cranky. All right, I'm gonna move this guy off the road. Here you go, buddy. Stay out of the road. We're gonna keep cruising. All right, next snake of the night is this sizable adult ribbon snake. So, movement has been slow tonight, but it's been a relatively productive night with a lot of different species. And excited to see this guy. I wish I got footage of when he was on the road, but I left my camera in the car and had to run back to him and didn't want him to get away, but look at that guy, super neat. When I first rolled up on him, he was like periscoping across the road and was like wiggling back and forth when I came, checking me out, it was pretty cool. Really cool little snake. Just beautiful colors on this one too. I don't know if it's coming out, but it's like almost orangey in person between those really solid white bands. Oh yeah, what a nice little snake. Definitely happy to have run into this guy. Alright, letting this snake off the road. Whew, come on buddy, go, go, go. Fast. They're moving tonight, just trickling across. Alright, we got another snake up here. Looks to be, if I'm correct, same as the last. Let's turn this brightness up a little bit. Oh yeah, big ribbon snake. Look at that. Good looking snake too. Wow. There's just like a steady movement of snakes all night. It's not anything uh, terribly exciting, but I mean, it's just like, Every 20 minutes I get one snake. It's kind of interesting. This guy actually looks to have like a, a food bolus right there, meaning that it's eaten something um, and it's got it in its stomach. It's eaten something recently, probably like a frog. So rather than picking this guy up, what I'm gonna see if I can do is just give him a little gentle touch to the tail here and see if he there we go. Oh my gosh, he's got no traction. He's burning out. He's burning out. But my idea is rather than touch that guy and potentially make a vomit, I could get him to move on his own so he keeps his meal. But we're gonna keep cruising. <laughs> Check this out. This is exactly what I was trying to cruise here. I switched up spots and we came across this adult Coastal Plains milk snake. Is that not super freaking cool? Oh man, it's not terribly colorful, but nice pattern. Definitely got a bit of a coastally pattern for sure. That is so cool. Man, what an awesome night. I could cruise all night tonight. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up. Actually, I'm gonna grab a cell phone shot first, maybe. Pick this guy up. Oh, he's chillier than I thought he might be. Look at that. Pretty brown in color, but not complaining. Super neat. Right, check this thing out. This is pretty cool. Like, yeah, it's brown, but nice thick black borders and kind of wavy pattern. Really neat snake. Got a heart on the back of the head. I might take some pictures of this guy. That's pretty awesome. That's super neat. <laughs> Definitely brown as far as coastals go but I'm not complaining. I like that kind of wavy pattern. 
All right, just finished taking pictures of this nice reddish brown Coastal Plains milk snake. Um, letting it go into the undergrowth now. You can see it's making its way along here off the road, but uh, that's neat. <laughs> Always really cool to cruise coastals because I mean, that doesn't happen often. There he goes, doing his thing. In the vegetation. Let's go see if we can cruise anything else. It's getting late, but stuff's moving. Wow, the snake movement tonight has just been ridiculous. Like, it's past midnight, and I never cruise past midnight. I don't even... Well, I guess I have cruised some snakes past midnight kind of accidentally, but like snakes still actively being on the roads after midnight is just like kind of bizarre to me. Like I rarely, rarely cruise this late. And here we have a little red-bellied snake. It's crazy. Nice coppery little belly. Probably the perfect snack size for <laughs> that milk snake we saw earlier. Anyway, I'm gonna let this guy off the road and I guess we're gonna keep cruising despite how late it is. Here we go, bud. See you later. All right, so it is uh, like one, almost 1.30 in the morning. Um, haven't seen any snakes in a little while, though I moved off of the roads where I was um, pretty successful and tried some other ones and uh, hadn't seen much. I was kind of planning on going to bed and uh, seems like a good time for it because I'm like hallucinating at the wheel. So um, I'm gonna pitch a tent, crash for the night. Tomorrow I'm laying some uh, boards at a friend's property and uh, making my way down to the beach and uh, I'll pick this video up somewhere either tomorrow or at the end of the weekend so so it's a couple days after I was just road cruising um, I'm out in the coastal plain coming back up from the beach uh, visiting some relatives and I figured why not hit a couple flip sites um, one thing though uh, this time of year the seed ticks are terrible I was briefly out the other day just to check some stuff out and literally was covering the entire lint roll with hundreds or thousands of ticks so I've got the stuff I need right here permethrin long I'm pointing the wrong direction but permethrin long pants socks high boots lint roller I'm gonna get suited up before going out or else uh, I'm gonna really regret it <laughs> and here's the first junk pile of the night so we have a good board here I can get this log off of it. I'm all suited up now, duct taped together. Hopefully that's pretty bulletproof, but you'd be surprised what these ticks can get into. All right, let's go with this first big board. This looks good. That looks pretty well sealed to the ground. Lots of tunnels and whatnot. Put that back down. Look pretty solid. This layer. Little board on board action. Nothing. Ugh, touch a slug.
This is what they call a seed tick bomb. I just rolled one foot, as in one boot, and as you can see, the entire thing is covered in clusters of these teeny little ticks. Um, fortunately, this one's not too bad. I know it looks it, but it can be a lot worse. But I'm gonna keep rolling. Who knows how many more I have on me. All right, so I'm running out of daylight pretty fast here. Um, this wasn't meant to be a super long outing. I only started out with like two hours left until sundown. Um, so far, I've only been finding ticks, a bunch of skinks and racers, um, or I guess just one racer, which got away before I could get any footage of it as soon as I lifted the cover item. Um, I'm just gonna hit a few more spots and then maybe we cruise. It's not particularly warm out, um, but we might give it a try and see what happens. All right, guys, so the other night I kinda ran out of time and didn't end up finding anything else, but that's kinda the way it goes. A lot of the time when you're uh, out looking for stuff, it's like 50-50 um, whether I film enough to make a video or not. So um, that's going to be it for this video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll catch you on the next one.